What's up, YouTube? Demi here with the Demi Splains. For all of you players that are coming back to Standard for the first time and not knowing what the hell to do to make currency, everything seems really expensive, blah, 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 the game is hard, etc., all that stuff. You have a bunch of remove only tabs full of items, right? It's going to take you some time to sort all of that stuff out, but you're going to find a lot of things that are worth a lot of currency. List all that stuff for sale, you'll have a bunch of money. Um, that being said, ways to make currency in Standard. There's a ton of stuff right now. I actually made a little bit of a list that we can go over. Um, but a lot of stuff that people don't really understand real quick. So you can sell things directly to other players without having to list it. If it's anything on this list, essences, div cards, maps, league stones, incursion stuff, delve stuff, scarab stuff, you can sell that to someone immediately on PV Trade and on the main website, pathofexile.com slash trade. It's the same thing. You just say you want ex or chaos or exalt, whichever. And if I wanted to look for like delve stuff, I would just click delve and be like, all right, I got a bunch of, I don't know, gilded fossils. I want to sell those. Click that. Bam, somebody's paying 5c per, contact them, sell them as many as you got. Do it again, I don't know, what else is there? Alchemical resonators, for example, potent alchemicals. Nobody's buying those because alchemicals are shit. So if we look at chaotic resonators, powerful chaotic resonators, bam, look, oh, it's me, people are paying 2c per. Dump them all on me, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's the same for, like, everything. Jagged fossils, corroded, oh, look, it's me, sorry. I buy a lot of fossils, <laughs> but I notice a lot of people listing their fossils. They just like price check it and they're like, oh, this is worth two chaos. So they list it for one chaos instead of just going to somebody that's paying like three chaos and getting the profit immediately. It's just, it's just dumb. People don't recognize that. It's the same with scarabs. If you have like scarabs from lastly, you can dump them to people, you know, etc. so on and so forth. Uh, other stuff, annulment orbs in standard are worth a shitload. 33 to 33 plus chaos at the moment. Divine orbs worth a shitload. How do you farm divines? For those that don't know, when you vendor a six link, any six link, including tabulas, so you can set up to buy tabulas. People list them for like 20c because they're dumb. Buy the tabula, vendor it, six link, you can sell the divine immediately for 30 something chaos. Also, there's a ton of divination cards that you can farm that give six links, right? So you can farm any of these and they all just give six links and they're all fairly common. Like I would recommend the lower number sets, so like Holy Chainmail is pretty common, Emperor Purity is pretty common, uh, Dapper Prodigy is pretty common, Chains That Bind is pretty common, but it's an 11 card set. You can even farm like the Tabula Div card, Humility, it's a 9 card set, in Channels, Blood Aqueducts, whatever, all of that good stuff. Like any of these cards are good money to farm. And you can just vendor the 6 link, or if it's like a, this one you would probably actually craft, but like these bad bases, Chains That Bind, Emperor Purity, Dapper Prodigy, uh, Porcupine as well, this one's pretty easy to farm. I think it's in like gardens maps. If you just check the wiki for any of these, it'll tell you where you get them. But they're like, you can just vendor them and get a divine and sell that divine for 30 chaos. Annulment orbs are a little bit harder to farm. I believe there is a div card for them, but they're pretty difficult. Um, after that, there's a bunch of new div cards that were added this league that are worth quite a bit in standard. So if you go to peewee.ninja, you select standard and you select div cards. It has all of them listed by the price currently, the average price index, you know? So you could just use this to decide a map on your atlas to farm. Um, you can click the wiki link here, it'll take you to the wiki, tell you where it drops. So the House of Mirrors is a Mirror of Calandra card. It's incredibly fucking rare. It only drops in these maps, so probably not worth farming. This is Uber Ziri. Don't do that one. Anything else is fine. Beauty Through Death, Queen's Sacrifice, where does that drop? Vol Temple, okay, that's pretty hard to farm. Don't do that. Next one, The Doctor, we all know where that drops. Burial Chambers, that's why people farm Burial Chambers in Spider Forest because it's a really good card. But there's also new ones such as uh, Arrogance of the Vol, which is like 50 chaos. That's the one that gives you a double corrupted unique item and it drops in these two places. It's 50 chaos for a div card. It's not that rare. I farmed like 20 maps and I think I got three or four of them. They're pretty common, it's good money. Uh, the next one is Alone in the Darkness, which I don't, I'm pretty sure I've gotten one of these. It doesn't say where it drops on the wiki, but it's, it gives you the delve item. Yeah, I have one. Alone in the Darkness. It's like 80 to 90 chaos. It gives you a 1 in 5 for a delve item. And um, the wiki doesn't have where it drops, but I'm pretty sure I got it from Adepts. I think I killed a Lich and got it. So I'm not 100% sure where that drops, but either way, it's a good card to farm if you can figure out where it drops. Uh, the next one is the Landing. It's like 40, 50 chaos or so. And it gives you the uh, T15 Beachhead map. It drops in Shore and Strand. Both of those are really good maps, especially Shore. Shore is an exceptionally good map to farm. It's like huge density, huge like layout that's fairly easy to path through. There's no dead ends or anything. So that would be a good one to farm. It's a five card set. They're not going to be stupidly rare. So you can get those there. Um, other stuff that's pretty funny is the fact that veiled items, no matter what the level, no matter what the base, 
just any basic veiled item will sell for five to 10 chaos right now in standard because there's so many people who don't have any veiled mods because they didn't play last league. So they're just trying to fill out their workbench crafts. And to do that, they need to get veiled items. Well, how do you get veiled items? You farm syndicate or you buy them from other people. And like, there's a billion of these listed and people are actually buy, buying them. It's really funny. If you list it for like five chaos per veiled item, you will make money, easy money. Yeah, you will lose them. But if you have, if you played last league, you already have most of the stuff unlocked anyways. So like make some money off of it and the prices will drop down to 1Z eventually. And then you can get all of them again. And the last thing I wanted to show was these. So for the same reason, everybody wants betrayal stuff in standard. The prophecy for a master seeks help find Jun is like 2X. Like it's ridiculous how expensive these are. And people are paying these prices to get Juns so they can get white sockets and uh, quality on their weapons and armor for their mirror items and their high end stuff. I'm doing the same thing. I'm paying like 10 to 20 X for the benches right now, but it's hard to like sell the benches if people don't know who you are. Um, they're very, very unlikely to hand you an original mirror item to do the thing for them. So I've been having my mods do them and like a few other high end standard players are helping me with it. But if you have like a Verici, um, how do I get this? Like if you have Verici or Hillock in transportation intervention or whatever, and you can get the white sockets from Verici or you can get quality from Hillock, and sell those benches. People pay a lot for those benches. Same with flask quality as well. People want to like quality their legacy of Inktars and things like that. You could sell those benches for a dick load. And if you have your syndicate set up from last league, if you're like, if you didn't know, your syndicate progress transferred from last league. So as long as you didn't run your masterminds before the league ended, and you kept that on your standard characters that transferred over, it's character specific. So if you have a character last league that you had a good syndicate set up on and you farm that in standard, you will make so much money, it is ridiculous. I've seen some people paying 40 exalts per the white socket bench, the one to three white socket with a Verici level three for their mirror items. And it's like, it's so much money to be had, it's ridiculous. But yeah, so this prophecy, you just spam Navali and you get these prophecies and you sell them for a little bit less than two X, you'll probably sell them instantly because people want to find their syndicates and they're willing to pay that cost. If they already have their syndicate set up, that prophecy is really good. Um, I don't have mine set up, so I'm not buying them yet, but that's easy money. What else is it that is easy money in standard? Your legacy maps will still give you map completion. They will still drop maps. So yeah, you're gonna have a map tab full of legacy maps. I have a bunch of them. Um, where are they? These are legacy, I don't know. They, they're just everywhere. I have like four map tabs, but that's okay. If I run these legacy maps, I'll include a clip right here, but you can run a legacy T15 and you will get like 110% completion. And then if you run a legacy rare corrupted guardian, you will get 150% completion because they reward standard players for like running legacy maps so we don't get punished every time the Atlas resets. They let us keep the unique maps this time. You had, I think, 20 unique maps on the Atlas. Assuming you had them completed last league, you'll still have them completed this league. And then you just run those two maps, you'll be at 154-ish completion. And then all you have to do after that is run the Vault Temple map to get your last one. And only after that, all you'll be missing are one of each of the Guardians, which you can get by volleying your old Elder T16 maps. This is a lot of information, I know, but I evolved my uh, my old Elder Bazaar maps, right? Because I'm I'm still running Bazaar. These are just the ones from last league. I evolved these. If you get a plus one on that vol orb, it turns into a current version of a guardian. So you get a rare corrupted guardian, and then you can just run that and get full completion out of it. Like it's it's all there. So you should be able to run three maps: T15 rare corrupted, T16 rare corrupted, and a vol temple. You'll have 150. 5% completion, and then you run one of each of the new Guardians when you evolve your maps, or you just farm your new T15s until one drops, or new T16s until one drops. Old T16s, sorry. And then you'll be good to go. You'll be uh, fully geared out and standard. You will probably have a lot of characters with open respecs. You know, you can do whatever you want with them. Find a new build guide, make a new build. You're going to have currency. You're going to have characters that are leveled up. You're going to be able to find public parties of people mapping. Like, you just, just got to look a little bit. If you're missing anything, there's always somebody that is willing to help you. You can join my Discord server. We got a bunch of people that play standard, but there's always like, you know, people mapping together. Um, yeah, here's a guy buying Veiled Boots for 5C. Like, it's pretty easy monies if you want to make money in standard right now. There's so many demands. Like, the method for making money in... Okay, so I, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but for in League, what you do to make a lot of money is you become an endgame player really fast, get to endgame, and then you sell stuff to the people behind you, the new players. In standard, it's the exact opposite. If you're a new player, you then feed things to the lazy rich players like myself who need them for crafting. Like fossils and essences and div cards and like Juns, Veiled mods, and divines and annuls, all of that stuff that we don't want to farm. If you farm it, 
you make a shitload of money. And then once you get to an end game point, you can become the lazy player. Like I have done over the past couple years. <laughs> I'm the lazy player now. I used to be the person that farmed. I guess I do a little bit of both, but hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you're having fun playing standard just as much as I am right now. I'm having a lot of fun updating my mirror items. It's kind of funny. I have 28 quality, most of my high-end ES stuff, which is great. Um, I think this is one of my highest ES chests now, 1,023. This one I think will go up to 1,070-ish. It's double quality, triple T1 legacy prefixes. I've been white socketing things as well. Um, but yeah, priority is the quant gear, obviously. I want to get three whites on the quant gear, and then I want to start doing um, RF helmet and then shields. This is okay. So in order of most mirrored items, I believe it's my helmet, and then like my rings, which don't need sockets, and then it's the RF helmet, which I only need one white on because the RF helm helmet setups are either four blue or three blue, one green. So one white on that fulfills both of those. I just replace the green with a white, and it's fine. This shield is my most mirrored ES piece. It's my low life RF shield. Um, so that would be good to get white sockets on, and then like maybe I'll do like helmets or weapons. Maybe I might do chimeric fang. But then I'm going to start doing like all the other ES pieces for quality and then like work on white socketing things. I want to white socket this chest. This is the highest DPS chest in the game. For Fizz attack builds specifically. It's just ridiculous. I love it. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough staring at my stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys make some currency with these tips. Let me know if you have any other questions or if you have any other ideas that would help other people making money that I didn't mention. Leave them in the comments and join our Discord. I think I said that already. But uh, yeah, I'll see you on stream or on Twitter, maybe. I don't know. All the links for everything are in the description of this video. And thanks for watching. That'll be the mail.